Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Scent. I'm going to do a request. I've been requested several times to do an eyebrow tutorial. And since I'm sitting here, it's about 11.30. I just finished riding my hair up, as y'all can see. Sorry. But check me in a couple of hours. I'll be fly. Um, I wish I had somebody here that could have helped me do this. Whew. My arms are tired. But as you can see, I have one bra on and one bra off. This one I drew on. If you seen my video earlier about my eyebrows not drawn on, they sculpted because my husband said I draw them on. But he got it all bumped, all messed up. I sculpted my eyebrows. But this one I did draw on to show the difference. Um, I, I shave off my eyebrows because I don't have, I mean, they real thin. They don't look real cute anyway. So, and I always have to fill them in. So, I just went ahead and just shaved them suckers on off. Because I draw them on every day. Not, oop, I sculpt them on every day anyway. So, what I use is, um, this is out of my, one of my MAC quad pot palettes. And it's like a brown color. And I have my MAC angle brush. I can't, 266 I think. What I do is I put some color on there. I look in the mirror. I hold it like a pencil. Like I'm writing. And I put my pinky on the side of my nose so it gives me a balance in the angle. And then I put the brush on the tip so it goes from here. This is like my guide from here to here is where I'm going to start the eyebrow at. So I put it on, and then I place the, the brush, and then I sweep up. Then you see I get a little more, so then I go back in, and then I just go, hold it underneath, and then I just sculpt it. I brush the powder. And I brush down to fill that inside in. And y'all have to get it real neat because we're going to use concealer to clean it up. But if you can get it neat when you put in the powder, so that's less work you have to do with the concealer. Yes, I'm all for it. And I just go straight up. And then I get about like right here because that's when your arch starts. Then I take, take the powder. And I take my brush. And I hold the flat part to my eyebrow, and then I go down with it, and extend it out. You see that? See, it's a little, little thicker, then as you get up here, and then you take that brush, and you put it flat to your eye, and then you just go straight down. Then I just go back in, and I look at it, see if it needs to be darkened, and brush. And you want the tail to end up like where the corner of your eye meets. About, about right there. See? Then I'm just going to go in. Fill that powder in. Brush it. brush it in and then you can also take if you want to take the pencil this is one of this is a um this is spiked the eyebrow pencil by Mac and sometimes I'll take it and I'll just shade in to fill in some of them spots where the powder is not really getting it I don't want them to be too dark But whatever color you want your brow to be, whatever shadow, you could use that same technique. And what I do, just hold it, put that pinky on that corner, the tip of that nose, put it, and then you swipe it. Then 
Gonna just make sure everything is shaded in, you know, looking nice and white. <laughs> then you can take the spike pencil, you know, make your line a little straighter, so. Just shade in. My face a little greasy. Because I got myself a hot oil treatment as well. And then I take a concealer. You can use MAC, any kind of concealer, a light concealer. And this is uh, NW20. And I have a concealer and liner brush. And I take it. Then I just go underneath. And that's how you can that's how you shape your ball. Any shape you want. And that's what's gonna clean them up and make them look fire. That sharpness. You go all the way down. And then I usually hold up here and blend it down. Because you're going to put eyeshadow base on your eye if you're going to wear some shadow or you just want to blend it in. So you're going to be looking all cock-eyed and crazy with big white spot under your eye. It is. And this little concealer has like a little tip so it's good for... You know, getting underneath there and getting that shape that you want it to look. Then you just blend it down. In your eye. To your eyelid. Then you want to take a little more. And then you go to the top. And if you want to use a little darker color at the top, you can do that as well. So it can just blend right into your skin. And this is my bad eye. I should have did the other eye. Because one night, when me and my husband, when we was dating, he was kicking it. And I had spent the night over his house. And it was real late, like about... 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, and the cell phone started ringing. I don't know if it was my phone or his phone, but I jumped up out of my sleep and tried to grab the phone, and booyah, hit my head on the edge of the nightstand.